Hello, English speakers from around the world. Hello to all of you who are speaking in English. Yes, it's you. You are an English speaker. And now your task is to improve your English. And in my opinion, you improve your English by using it using it to communicate, using it to understand and be understood. So that's the first step this hour. Think of yourselves as an English speaker. You know English. And thanks to the number one website in the world, we're talking about verbling.com, you have an opportunity you have an opportunity to connect with a native speaker, English teacher. That's me. My name is Jeff Watson. I come from Vancouver, Canada. And this hour, we are going to be talking about a very positive subject. We are going to be talking about how to reward people, specifically how to reward children and how to reward employees, workers. All right, and so first, what I would like to do is to uh, ask everyone to download the document, please. So thanks to the internet, I have prepared a document for everyone. What I'm going to do is copy and paste the direct link to the document in the Verbling chat box. There it is. If you click on that link, you will get direct access to the document. This is important because the screen share does not always work very well. Sometimes it's difficult to read. And so if you have the document that I have prepared open on your computer, will be able to read it clearly. You will be able to copy and paste words that you're not sure of, that you don't know, into an online translator or online English dictionary. So this is how you improve your vocabulary. The second thing I would like to uh, share with everyone uh, is the tools that we use here at Verbling. And so please keep your microphone turned off unless you are speaking, of course. As easy as this. So please take the time to click on and click off your microphone. You can also access the microphone button underneath your video image here. Very easy to do. And that's it. This class, I think the microphone button is the only tool that you will be using. And so welcome everybody. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, and I hope that all of you are ready to participate and work together uh, to read and understand the document and to give your opinions uh, about the content in the document. And so, as usual, what I would like to do is to get started right away with reading. And uh, before, though, it's I'm here to help you. All I need is for you as students to turn on your microphone and say, hi, Jeff, I have a question, or hi, Jeff, I have a comment, and I will call on you, and please share your question or comment with me, and we will work together to give you an answer or to understand your idea. So here we go. Enough of me talking. Let's get somebody reading, and the first person is Chuffed. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, where are you connecting from? 
I'm connecting from Egypt. Okay, great. And so could you please read the title of our first article? Okay. The title. Okay. Punishment or reward? Which works better on behavior? Okay, now sorry. Uh, now I wonder, have I made a mistake here? <laughs> so just give me one second here. Okay. Um, the document isn't 10 ways to reward good grades without paying for them. Is, what is the name of the document? CD7? No, CD4? CD4. Yeah. The name of the document is CD4. D -O -C -X. I, I'm sorry, could you tell me that again? It's necessary to scroll down. Uh, but uh, what what is the name of the document, please, that you people have from the CD4. link? CD4. CD4. Okay. And at the beginning, it, it uh, so maybe I have made some changes to the document that I've I've forgotten. Sorry. And so, what what do people need to do to find ten ways? Oh, we need to scroll down then. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry. Which page? Uh, I don't know because what I've done is I have uh, cop uh, cut the document down to the start of a new ar uh, article called 10 Ways to Reward Good Grades Without Hi. Paying for Them. And I have it on the share screen. Page five. Ten innovative ways to hey. reward your employees. No, sorry, that's too far, I think. So oh. page five, someone is saying page five. Let me see. Okay, ten ways yes. to reward, good grades, to reward without them. good grades without paying for them. Being Perfect, them. yes, thank you. Okay. And I'm just having a little trouble with my... Uh, with my document here. So just the picture here, people understand what grades are? Yes. Okay, could you give me an example though of, of what they are? Um, uh, I got uh, 10, 10 grades, 10 from 10 grades oh, in my 10. exam. Oh, okay, so 10 out of 10? Yeah. And Maybe we also rank? say, sorry? Rank, the ranking. Ranking, well, uh, it, it's that's related, but uh, no, it, it's not the same as a grade. So your ranking is what number, what place you were in. So you were the third in your class, or you were first in your class. We, we have the other word, marks, getting marks. And people can see the photograph. Yes. What 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 are some of the marks or grades that people have gotten? A plus B. Good. A. a. Yes, B, and, and some. Yeah, Bs. An A minus, an A plus. I think mm -hmm. S is probably satisfactory, <laughs> so it's uh, it's not not a very good mark. All right, and so could you please continue reading then? Okay. Uh, not all parents believe you should pay your child for, for good grades, but circle of moms members say that doesn't mean you, you shouldn't reward them. Here are some ideas of how to celebrate a good report ca card without forking uh, over any cash. Okay, and could people please just ask your vocabulary questions what does to fork over mean this is a phrasal verb mm -hmm. what is a report card in school for veterans uh, sorry yes sorry could you repeat that 
for parents the, the report card for parents so they yeah. can sign it and the teacher make sure that the kid uh, delivers to his parents good excellent so a report card needs to be signed by the parent and in this is a picture of a of a report card so all of the students grades or marks mm -hmm. in all of the different subjects in school well not not sorry it, it not not really sorry it's mm -hmm. because a certificate means that you have finished something and completed it so maybe mm -hmm. when you graduate you will receive a uh, a diploma or a certificate but report cards are just the grades or marks for students in mm -hmm. school and so what does to fork over mean to work on uh, to give sorry so somebody had give. a comment first to work on to work on no sorry but thank you for your guess and who else and it, it would be great if students would just start by saying hello Jeff uh, because I need more time to be able to identify who is speaking or something like can I speak Jeff <laughs> do you understand uh, okay yes um, oh, okay may Just. I may I you go yes Jeff go <laughs> okay I, I, I said uh, maybe it means uh, uh, to give money for example yeah to give it yeah so to fork over really means to pick up the money and put it over there <laughs> yeah. so to to give money okay mm. great so uh, do people agree with this point um, teacher it's the yes. same uh, fork fork we use it uh, when we eat well fork. yes it, 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 it but I really uh, with with phrasal verbs in English and this one is almost like an expression so yeah. there is a connection but I don't think you should try and connect it with the fork that you eat uh, it's actually oh. a verb to fork over means to give money to someone else yeah okay and try I think, I think you should is, yeah sorry I go think ahead please is, um, I think it is a figurative uh, meaning or explanation sure yes it's like an expression but it is a phrasal verb though so we we use it in this context that's what it means you're gonna fork over some money to your children because they've gotten a good report card with good grades but is that a good idea maybe yes <laughs> well all right yeah oh and and so you you agree that it's okay to give kids money to get good marks if they get good marks at school Chuff? yeah they they, oh. they uh, I think um, I think they will try their best to get high marks just to get the money okay great and uh, N Entesar did you have a comment? Um, oh, I think yeah. uh, with the time uh, they will not um, love education. They just uh, they will just thinking about money. Okay. How can uh, I pass? How many uh, how many exam can I pass to, to collect some money to oh, okay. buy something? Right. Yeah. Because uh, many parents but, give a certain amount of money for each A, so it's you know twenty dollars yes. for each A. <laughs> Okay, yeah, great. <laughs> Anybody else with an opinion? Me, if I can. Yes, sorry, go ahead. I, I agree with Entesa. Mm, maybe some kind of reward is it's okay, but I think money is not the best thing to give to our kid. Okay, great. All right. And so what I'd like to do is to keep going. Now, I'd, I'd like to say hello to Anderson. Anderson, are you there? 
you're moving your video around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on. Uh, LV, hello, how are you? Yeah, uh, hi teacher, how are you? Fine, fine. Yeah, I've been uh, a little uh, busy, but I'm here in the class. Could you, yeah. yeah, great. Could you read number one for us? Okay, and number one, let them eat cake. Around here, we celebrate good grades and pretty much everything else with cake. It's a way of letting our kids know that we are proud of the hard work they put in and that we think it's worth acknowledging they like cake. Okay. They like cake, but the re reward isn't so great that they are relying on external reward for getting good grades. Okay. All right. So, do people have questions? And then, do people have comments? And could people try to point out to the rest of the class the things that they thought were important in the text? And again, all you need to say is, hi, Jeff, I have a comment, or I have a question. Mm. Yes. Uh, okay, I have a question. Entesar? Uh, yes. Um, is uh, is there a difference between acknowledging and knowledging? What's well? What uh, acknowledging? Well, to acknowledge to acknowledge something means to recognize it. Means to. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, Sorry, it, your, your child has gotten some good grades, and you want to acknowledge that. You want to show them that you have noticed that they have good grades. You want to point out the good grades and show the child that you are proud of them, to acknowledge something. Mark now, something. But there's no verb, there's no verb to knowledge. So, there, uh, knowledging does not exist. Acknowledging, to acknowledge is the verb. To, to acknowledge uh, something, to mark it? So yes, good, to mark it. Well done. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, uh, let me see if I can find. Uh, you are recognizing something. Uh, yes. Well, that's, that's the only synonym that really works in this case. Okay. Yeah. To be acknowledged for something that you did. In this case, something positive. Mm. Okay. Great. It's, it's a very good word. It's a, it's a very positive mm. word. Oh. Any other comments, questions? What, what are we talking about here? And I've highlighted the phrase they're relying on external rewards for getting good grades. Does mm. anybody have an idea of what the, the people are talking about here? Um, relying, uh, depending on external. Yes, good. They're depending on external rewards for getting good grades. What does that phrase, maybe I'll, I'll re-highlight external rewards. What does that refer to? Yes. Does that mean if? Uh, yeah, Samir. Yes. Does that mean if you give him uh, uh, every if, if if they do a great a, a good a great uh, grades, they will uh, be li lying. They will lying to take to uh, to take uh, rewards. In okay. The, uh, grades. All right, and they and so. Lie. So, but what, what we're talking about is something good or bad, it, and it's what we talked about at the very beginning of the class. So, if you give a child money for getting good grades, uh, I, I think it was um, Entesar was saying, the child will only get good grades to receive money. Where, yes. what's, what's the ideal situation? And... Um. 
can I uh, can I say okay, something? Okay, sure. Intercept. Yeah. Uh, uh, some people say that uh, you must uh, give a child um, a hug or a kiss or um, something like that. Uh, yeah. Replace uh, the money or uh, external rewards. Right. So I okay. think internal will be a hug or something like that. Oh, okay. Now, not not necessarily. Uh, that's not necessarily internal rewards, or at least my understanding of it. What okay. what are true internal rewards? Can somebody give me an, a, an example with a child getting good grades? Why why are you learning English? Are you learning English? English to make more money? Are you learning English to get a certificate? Um, or both, are there maybe reasons? Both. Yeah, sorry. To get a job and to make a contact with the foreigner. Okay, to, to, but what, yes. what, what are the re internal rewards for learning English? Um, okay. so, somebody else had a comment though. Yeah, okay, chuffed. Okay, uh, I think I I will add something to myself. Okay, yes, I will improve good. myself. I good. will I will be more confident. Okay, with foreign, yeah. okay? okay, and even in my work, I will be uh, maybe the the English language is something essential in my work. So I will be confident. I will trust myself. Okay, I good. will get money that's... also. Well, okay, but no, but that's another one though. <laughs> that's external. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's you. I think parents. Yeah, another comment from someone. Yes, teacher. Yes, uh, I think uh, it's very important to help people to understand you are le learning something for you. Yes, that that's going to be useful for you for your life. It's Good. not about receiving money for whatever you do in this life. I think mm -hmm. that is your pay. It's the, okay. it's the best thing for you, okay? Yeah. No, I think that's the idea. So uh, by giving children things, even hugs and kisses, although that's probably unconditional attention, they always get hugs and kisses. It doesn't <laughs> matter if they get good grades or not. You're acknowledging their good work, but you're not teaching them to do everything for external rewards. So I guess that's the idea. But hopefully we can talk about this more as we go along. Uh, uh, LV, could you... Uh, no, sorry. Um, uh, Enrique, could you read number two for us, please? Yes. Have a kid's choice family night. Like me, it's a circle of mom's member, Lisa G, doesn't believe in paying for good grades. But she also doesn't think any other material rewards are a good idea either. Instead, she suggests doing something as a family, something that the kids choose, like going out for a ice cream or renting a movie. Okay, great. And so, any questions about vocabulary? And what do you think the this mother is talking about? <coughs> mm. I think yeah, Enrique. The clue, the clue here is the the reward is an activity to do something that the kids really really love to show okay. them that they are doing a, a great job. Okay, excellent. So activities that's that's the idea, rewarding the kids with activities, and and what else is involved here? Um. Yes? I think it is uh, not important, uh, she says, not important to give uh, the children money. You can uh, g give him uh, uh, the choice uh, what uh, to, share, to share the family, what they do at, or what they want to do. Good. Yeah. Now where, that's where, where they are, where, to, where where they want to uh, hang, hang out. Like yeah. This. Good. So to do something, the act.
activity is doing something as a family. So yes. it's not sure, given family, to the child. Yeah. It's it's an activity that everybody likes, but that the children, the kids get to choose. And yeah. And and then now the mother says well, this lady, Leisha, I believe is the name of the person with this idea. She doesn't she doesn't believe that paying money to kids is a good idea, but what else what else doesn't she believe in? Something as a fun. Um sorry, may uh, I answer? but yeah, sorry, Entasar, did you have a, a comment? Yeah, I want to say doing something as a family. Oh, okay, good. But it what I'm asking is what does she not believe in? Uh chuffed? She, she doesn't okay. Sorry, it uh, but chuffed? Uh, okay, me. Okay, she well, she yeah. she doesn't think any other material rewards are a good idea. Uh, she, okay, so not only money, but no other material rewards are a good idea. Mm -hmm. So, not even cakes, you know, nothing like that. No yeah. material rewards. Okay, so great. I think that's the idea. So she doesn't believe in paying for good grades, but she also doesn't think any other material rewards are a good idea either. Okay, that's the idea. Okay, great. So an activity for the whole family to enjoy. That's one way. Okay, great. And so now, um, uh, Entesar, could you read number three, please? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, go to museum. Uh, Mom Christian H thinks as kids uh, kids get older and school work gets harder, it can be motivational to reward kids uh, kids with activities for continued good uh, grades. She and Mom uh, Autumn B both uh, suggest a trip to a museum, which can be both fun and educational. <laughs> okay, all right. So okay. this is. The this is a little strange. We're talking about an internet chat group called Circle of Mums. So Autumn B is the name of a woman, and Christine H is another woman. These are mums, apparently, mm -hmm. who have contributed these ideas. And so, what, what's their idea? And what, what do you think about it? <clears throat> Uh, they think uh, the reward uh, can be activities. Okay, good. And Trip what activity do they? Me. Sorry, uh, what what mm. activity do they suggest? A trip to a museum, which can be both fun and education. All right. Uh, but anybody I don't agree think with it that? Be good. <laughs> well, okay. I don't agree. <laughs> anybody else <laughs> with a comment? I. Uh, I totally agree with this, okay? Uh, really? Well, uh, I, I, think, I think the mom uh, using the, the, the kids <laughs> in school and outside the school. So I, I don't I don't quite understand what you mean by using or she used them to the uh, to 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 her agenda, okay? She wants them to be more uh, educated in the okay. school and outside the school. That's okay. why. Now, using doesn't really make sense. Sorry. So try and think about the verb that you want. She's uh, trying to manipulate them. She's trying yeah, to. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah uh, okay. Well, all right. Now, it depends on the museum, though. And it depends on what the interests of the child are because I've heard that in the United States there are some incredible museums. They are amazing. Okay. Yes, teacher. I think yeah, that LV? is the I think that is the point, okay? I think it's a it's a good idea, but to be honest, uh, could be boring for kids. Okay. Yeah. To get that kind of reward. Okay, oh, what a nice idea to go to a museum, bro. <laughs> it's okay. not good. To pay no. for working hard, 
with another kind of uh, yeah job or something like that. Yeah, a task not... or yeah, yeah. Maybe it might be more work. Like, hey, let's go to the library and have fun. But okay. But uh, you know, let's say uh, for example, a museum could be full of dinosaurs, for example. So maybe the child is really interested in dinosaurs. So, anyways, uh, Jose or Jose, are you there? Jose, Jose? yes. yes. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, could could you please read number four for us? Okay. Buy new books. A number of circle of moms members say that good grades earns their child a trip to the bookstore or a chance to choose something from the latest book order form. As one member named Fluffy Bunnies points out if the reward is educational, you're encouraging his interest in education. <laughs> okay, so this is more about what we're talking about. Fluffy Bunnies is a mother. This is the name she uses on in, on the internet. So, what what do you think? And uh, Chuffed, have you thought of the verb that you wanted to use with the parents? So um, you know you're rewarding the children. Sense. Yeah. Manipulate. Sorry. Manipulate? Um, yeah. it, to no manipulate thinking. is a, sorry, to manipulate is a very negative word. No, I, I want it uh, uh, to, in, the, in the positive side, not oh, the negative. Okay. All right, well, to encourage is very positive. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's it. This is, a, <laughs> yeah, this is a very, very positive word. But uh, what do people think? Buying children a new book for getting good grades. Let's see. I can say something. Yes, Enrique. Okay. Uh, I think uh, it depends on on the children, child. If he or she likes books, why not? The uh, the point here is to we need to give them a reward. So sure. if, if he or she likes books, I think it's okay. Okay. All right, great. Let's let's move on to number five then. And uh, Samir, let me move it down for you. Number five. Use cumulative uh, reward system. A few months mention that instead of paying for good grades, they use a sticker sharp as uh, a cumulative reward system. Chantal uh, uh, says when your child gets uh, to a certain number of uh, stickers, you can't take them to buy a small toy. Uh, Blender uh, uses a system in which five stickers is equal to a dollar, which can be saved up for a wanted item. Okay, good. So, what what's this? Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Yeah, uh, cumulative. Sorry, cumulative. Yeah, uh, cumulative is like to accumulate, it's similar, and it means that it adds up slowly over time. Mm -hmm. So they earn stickers, you understand what stickers are, they earn points, and you add those up. So for example, Belinda it has the system of five stickers is equal to one dollar. Mm -hmm. So, anybody with a comment on this? Yeah, I uh, want to make yeah? a comment. Sorry, yeah, go ahead, Enrique. Uh, I think this can, uh, could be a 
exhausting for a for a kid. So they need to to see the goal. So right. They they have to know that they can achieve the the reward. Yes. Okay. Good. So excellent point. Any other comments? May I? Yeah, Chuffed. I think this way will will teach the kids um, the competition, how to compete, to compete, um, to get how, something. How hard. to compete? Mm-hmm. Uh, to get something. To compete, yeah. Yeah. All uh, right. Great. I think this is a good way. Yeah, and kind of uh, working, working gradually towards a goal, and saving up uh, to to save money or you know in this case stickers and points and it counts as money and so if you want to buy something you know that if you want to buy something small you only need five stickers but if you want something big you need 15 stickers so yeah I, yeah not like motiv motivation it's it's uh it's uh, a motivation system but we say motivating uh, S something that is motivating for the child but I, I thought both of you made good points this could be become really tiring and boring for a child to be saving yeah. up stickers forever before they get the uh, reward all right and uh, a teacher yes uh, yeah I consider it is the same thing okay Maybe the only difference is you are the line yes. to to give them the the money at once, but maybe it's the same thing, yes, little by the little, but it's the same yeah. thing, yeah. To you're, give you're money or the pay for them, yeah. Delaying the reward, yeah. I I guess the idea maybe is that you could give points for other things though too, so good schoolwork and then. Keeping your bedroom clean could oin earn you some stickers. Uh, yeah, helping cook dinner could give you some stickers. Yeah, but delaying the reward. Yeah, I like I like that phrase. It's very common. And Selma, could you read number six for us, please? Uh, okay, sure. Go out for ice cream. I remember this report card reward from my own childhood, as the as does mom John B who says it was a big deal to go out for ice cream she was a kid that's why she's carried on the tradition with her son who is so excited about it that he even shows his rap uh, report card to the server okay and so what what are we talking about here Instead of giving them stickers, you buy you go and buy them ice cream, yeah. which, which I may find uh, harmful for the kid. So, yeah. So you you feel that it's harmful? Yes, ice cream yeah. for children. Yes. It's yeah, okay. like unhealthy. You mean? Unhealthy children. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you. And some other opinions and what. What's some more information from this little paragraph? Who who is the server? The one who sells the ice cream. Okay, and what does the the little boy do? He shows his uh, his report. His uh, his grade. He, he he shows his report card. Report card. His report card to the server. Yeah. Okay. So he takes he, was he takes happy. his report card to the yes. I don't know the 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 ice cream parlor is what we say and he says look I got an A so give me some he ice cream. Was, he was yeah. very happy. <laughs> yeah. I very think motivated. It is excited for 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 kids. They love uh, they love this uh, this uh, reward. Well, okay, Go sure. Out for ice cream. Yeah, it could be very popular, and uh, from yes. Gen B, and uh, they're talking about something that 
what, what about this first part here? And what does it mean uh, that's why she's carried on the tradition with her son? What does that mean? Uh, may I? Yes. Go ahead, please. Uh, she uh, say that uh, I do the same uh, as my mother was uh, treat me when I have an A. When when I was so, a child, so, uh, or, or when I got an A. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, good. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Let's mm -hmm. uh, let's move on. And uh, where are we? We're back to the start. Anderson. Hello. Are you there? Okay, I'm sorry, Anderson, we, we can't hear you. And so, Chuffed, could you read number seven for us, please? Okay, cool. Okay, give out legal dollars. Instead of paying, uh, instead of paying in real dollars, Mom Sherry um, rewards improved grades with what she calls Lego and craft, uh, and craft dollars. It's a great idea. It makes the reward a favorite recreational activity and doesn't involve cash. Okay, and so do people um, know what I Lego think, is? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, I think sorry. it's cheating. Yeah? Sorry, Chuffed? Cheating the, ch the, the kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're cheating them. Why? Yeah. yeah. Because um, uh, uh, it is um, there is no value for for this uh, Lego or crafts. Uh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh well. All right. Now. Oh, okay. Good. 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 I, uh, that's fine. Any anyone else with a comment? I think this won't work with the ch uh, children of nowadays because they. Can ah. differentiate between uh, real dollars and fake dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. No. But wait a second. I. I don't think. I don't think it's real or false dollars. Like it's not just fake money. But I. I think the idea is that instead of paying for real dollars, you get Lego dollars or craft dollars or it could be um, video game dollars. Uh, and I think the idea is that they get dollars, little coupons or dollars, so to speak, that represent a favorite activity. And so you could give uh, watching TV dollars. And so here you got five watching TV dollars, and that's one dollar is 20 minutes of watching TV. So the kid pays three dollars and they get to watch one hour of television or they get to play video game for an hour or play with their Lego for an hour. I think that's the idea. Mm, okay. It's now like, it's different. Yeah. It's kind of the currency of being able to do uh, a, a favorite recreational activity. And so really there's there's no money involved, but it's I go to it's it's make believe money that allows you to do certain activities. All right, and so let's go to where are we? Uh, yeah, Elvi, could you read number eight, please? Okay, uh, number eight. Eat out as a family. I love Teresa. Yeah. yeah. A, a case. Reason for talking the kids out to dinner to celebrate good grace. We reward our children with a family a dinner out. It it gives us a great opportunity to talk about the, their grades and the comment from their teacher, she says. Okay, great. So taking the kids out for dinner. Sounds good? Yes, yes, teacher, I love yes. this yeah. idea. Yes. Yeah, and uh, to eat out means to go to a restaurant. Yes. Okay, to take someone out for dinner is to take them out to a restaurant. And then what do they do while they're eating dinner? Mm. Talk 
about the talking graves. about the gra uh, graves. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And some some parents feel that this this is more important or these are more important. Yes, I agree with this. Yeah, it's very effective. Oh, okay, but uh, what I highlighted in yellow, some people, some parents think that this is more important than the grades. Mm. Can, can someone explain in their own words what I have highlighted in yellow? Uh, may I? Yes. Um, I think uh, when, um, uh, when the student is good, the teacher uh, say you, uh, you are a prince. You are a princess. <laughs> okay, yeah. A hero. Uh, you are a hero. Something mm -hmm. like that. Yes. So he uh, returned to home and uh, feel very happy and tell his parents about uh, this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So really uh, positive um, comments from the teacher. But mm. let's let's have another example though of maybe PE, physical education. And they were doing a sport that was obviously very difficult for a student. And the student only got a C plus. But and so what are the parents going to think? That their their kid yeah, Selma? Is, their kid is weak. Good. Uh, he cannot uh, do anything and he is a failure. <laughs> okay, now a C plus is not that bad, but it's 72% uh, uh, or something. Let's say it was running and the student only got a C plus. But what if the teacher wrote, I am so proud of your child. They worked so hard on their running. They were there extra time every class. They had a fantastic attitude, and they should be very proud of the score that they got. Do you understand the difference between the mark and the teacher's comment? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the opposite is true. Maybe a student that gets an A should have gotten an A+, plus, but they were lazy, and they didn't work hard. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Uh, yes. that, that student uh, uh, to uh, to share to to, to why, why why what they are doing. In exactly. The, and sometimes it's what the mark represents, because if you have somebody who has studied English for three months, they're going to get a low mark. But that could be incredible. And then you have someone who has been studying for 10 years, and they get a good mark, but it should be better. Yeah, OK, that's the idea. Let's, let's move on. But the teacher's comments uh, can be very important. And so let's uh, go on. Sorry, where are we? Uh, Enrique, is it your turn? Yes, teacher. Number, number, number I, nine, please. I I would like to concede my turn to other oh. students that oh, okay. don't speak too much. Well, uh, all right, but uh, sorry, I'm just going to. Well, who do you want to give it to? <laughs> <laughs> Enrique. Who yes. would you like to give your turn to? I don't care. Don't <laughs> Everybody's been speaking quite a bit, but <laughs> yeah, no. okay. I, I'm I'm gonna move on. But are you sure, Enrique? Uh, I don't I don't care about reading, but uh, uh, okay. I think people have haven't written yet. Uh, oh, okay. They they haven't read yet. All right, and uh, I'm I'm gonna go on to uh, Entesar. Uh, could you read number nine for us, please? Okay. Uh, give uh, an iTunes gift card, Circle of Moms um, a member, Candice. Candice says Candace. she's. Candice says uh, she sometimes gives iTunes card as a reward for good grades, 
but she mixes it up with other uh, with other rewards too. When he, her oldest child make the dean's list for the third time in a row, she got uh, she got to go uh, horseback riding. Oh, okay. So, what do you think of this idea? Do you understand what an iTunes card is? iTunes music, something. Yes. Cards. And I think so, uh, iTunes offers a lot of other things as well, I think. Mm. Yeah, applications. Okay, right, yeah. Games. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. And if, if you can come to my class tonight, uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about iTunes. iTunes' 10th anniversary. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right, and and so there's another idea, uh, or to go uh, horseback riding, and then uh, Hussein, are you there? Uh, okay, and so I'm going to go to Ho uh, Jose. Are you there? Yes, I am here. Great. And so uh, I'm just having a little trouble with my word program here. It's sort of frozen. Uh, here we go. Number 10, please. Uh, give me a minute. Uh. Number 10, one-on-one -on -one time. One-on-one -on -one time. Don't forget that sometimes use a little time alone with you is a threat for your child. Mom Wendy L. says one way she rewards her daughter's good grades is by planning a special outing, outing just for the two of them. Image source. Yeah, sorry, that's, that's not important. So, sorry, we can get rid of that. Uh, all right, and so what do people think of this? One on one time. Oh, just the pronunciation of to treat. To treat someone is, in this context, to give them a reward, to give them something special. Or, I'm sorry, that's not correct. It's not a verb. In this case, a treat is a little reward or a little prize, something that is uh, good, something mm -hmm. that is special. Well, what do you uh, think? Teacher, yeah. teacher yeah. A, treat, a treat is a noun here as a present? Yes. Sorry, it is. It's a noun, and it's like a little present. Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something nice that you give to someone. Hmm. So in this case, what are you giving? What is the treat? What is the reward? Mm. Mommy's daughter day. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah. But teacher, uh, yeah. is she going to to give a gift or just going out and coming back to home without anything? Well, uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that she's. So they're not talking about buying anything for the child here. So what she's giving the daughter is time for the two of them to be alone together to do oh, okay, something teacher. just the two of them mm -hmm. okay, teacher. so it, it may be nothing more than just going to I don't know to have a like a cup of coffee or or something to drink for the child and just sitting and talking yeah alright so then um, what now we, we won't bother going into em employees here I just wanted to very quickly review the names so we have Wendy Wendy and this is Candace this is obviously how I pronounce these names which may not be totally correct Candace and Ter uh, Teresa Teresa and Let's go Jen. back. Sherry? Did, did someone have a question? 
Okay, but uh, Jen, Jen, and Chantel, and Belinda, and well, we'll skip Fluffy Bunnies, Autumn, Christine. It just the N is silent here. Autumn. We we do not pronounce the N. And uh, Leisha, I believe Leisha. Okay, so what for some some final comments then? Um, maybe I can start with. Uh, sorry, where did we where did we leave off? So, uh, uh, Jose, did you have a, a comment? Well, I think. Uh those are good rewards, but I, for me, I think is is good, but once for a while, not every time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can okay. get a good grade because it's about a custom, I think. Right. Yeah. Excellent. So, and then uh, Ricardo, uh, hello. Okay, uh, sorry, Ricardo, we can't hear you. Samir, uh, a comment from you, please. I think uh, a word it is good uh, to the chef children, it is a good idea. Uh, and you can give him an all this, what we, we have studied today, you can give him all this. Uh, but uh, I think. Uh, for kids, it is good to give him uh, a physical uh, material, material uh, reward. M material rewards? Yes. And and sorry, I missed your point. Is it good uh, or is it bad? It, it, it is good, good to give oh. him a material reward. Okay, uh, good. Some, some material rewards, that's okay. Yeah, great. Yes. So maybe what? not money, maybe gifts. Or, yeah, uh, sure. Okay, yes. good. Selma? Uh, well, teacher, I think that uh, it depends on the type of the child that you have. If you have a rascal child, we just uh, keep on jumping and screaming and beating <laughs> their parents. So they don't, uh, this, this method will not work with him. So, so sorry, of what kind of child? Rascal. Uh, rascal? Yes, teacher. <laughs> so, kind of a bad child? Yeah. Rascal sure. is not uh, really the correct word, I don't think. So, uh, mm. So if you have, uh, yeah, what kind of child? Noisy. We can say oh, noisy. okay. Noisy. All right. Naughty. And Enrique has an idea, maybe naughty child? Yes, but that teacher. means the child is bad. <laughs> Yes. Okay. But I, I, what is your point then? If if the child is is kind of naughty, what's going to happen? You need to have corporal punishment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's the other thing, though. So if they get bad grades, it's corporal punishment. Yes. For sure. Oh. Okay. Punishment. <laughs> Only punishment, not uh, spanking. No, not not. But corporal punishment is physical. But anyway, okay. All right, Selma. Okay, you're a tough mom. Uh, Chuffed, do you have a a, 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 a comment? Sorry. Um, I think uh, I think we can uh, really use these uh, ideas. Take mm. some of them include some of them, uh, adapt them according to the situation, okay? So uh, you can take all the benefits and to make your kids uh, uh, take a, a great grades, okay? And they happy. Yeah. And all right. no punishment for a kid. Okay. Well, I mean, and, and the, the other side of this is, yes, there are some rewards maybe, but the parents are showing that they're happy about the marks. And the child, I'm sure, will feel proud of themselves. 
Yeah. And so, yeah, it, it's acknowledging the fact that the children have done well, and in many schools, you need to work hard to get good grades. So, great. Uh, LV, a comment from you? Uh, yes, teacher, I absolutely agree uh, with this opinion, okay, to reward uh, kids for good uh, grades. Maybe I disagree with the idea to give them money mm -hmm. because maybe they could uh, be used to uh, doing things or doing, yeah, things because they are going to, to, to get money from you. I yeah, think that they, is a not, not a good attitude for yeah, life. Okay, yeah. they'll they'll get used to just getting the money, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. And Enrique, comment from you? Yes. Um, uh, I think uh, there are many good theories, mm -hmm. but maybe we can combine it to make the best. Theory and um, apply to our kids, our yeah, kids, our kids exactly. How how are they on um, many other factors? Well, and yeah, you could have two parents rewarding the children a little differently. Uh, and and Pesar, uh, a comment from uh, you? Uh, yes, my teacher. I think uh, I must uh, give my son uh, some rewards. Sometimes they uh, go out. Uh, but uh, as a result, uh, he is my responsibility, and I must make him um, a good person. But at the same time, uh, I must uh, make him understand that when he study, he study for himself to become a good person. Yeah, great, excellent. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I have to leave it at that, everybody. So great work, and Thank uh, you. wow, that was a fantastic class. Good, good teamwork for giving lots of great suggestions and ideas. Thanks a lot. I'll talk Thank to you, you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you. <laughs> oh, you can, you can send me money. That's okay. I'll... Uh, me too. <laughs>